What a show, fantastic, um, incredibly busy, fantastic range of skills there and uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that one, that was an incredible show. Uh, my life is now complete as well, uh, I don't care if I retire tomorrow, uh, now I was doing my demo, we had about 130 odd people around us and uh, going on, going on, I looked over into the crowd and there was Lofty Wiseman um, watching our, show, our session, so uh, chuffed to bits with that, he came over at the end of it and shook his hand, had a little bit of a chat with him, that gentleman was my inspiration for um, for what I do now if you check out the previous blogs and whatever you'll see the history of uh, where I came from so uh, um, that was an incredible privilege and uh, what an incredibly nice gentleman um, yeah chuffed to bits and uh, now what we've done is uh, Sunday we left the Lake District uh, about five o'clock uh, traveled down to Bedfordshire and then two days in the office uh, we're moving on to this boat that I've been telling you about as well and, uh, and now it's back up into um, on the Derbyshire, Leicestershire border and uh, we're at uh, Dave Watson's Wood um, so Dave runs Woodland Survival Crafts and we're working with him, myself, Kev and Martin uh, and a gentleman called Nick and we're at the Bushcraft Special Interest Group meeting so that's a two day uh, meeting uh, all sharing skills, sharing knowledge you know, weather's not too bad, it's, uh, it's been raining, that's only a bit just off the trees there, it's nice and sunshine now. Uh, I just finished my uh, one of my sessions, so I was doing the uh, fine lighting with traditional flint and steel, and then exploring the different tinders that we can use, you know, carbonised materials from your basics of your char cloth, uh, working through to um, charring birch polypore, um, working with amadou, and uh, and then working with King Alfred's cakes or um, cramp balls or Daldinia concentrica, and um, yeah, great great session. Uh, Martin's off now doing a session and uh, doing a game session, and Kev's off uh, making donuts in Dutch ovens, and uh, so it's a good crack. Uh, we've got a meeting this evening. Uh, regarding the the bushcraft special interest group um, and then another full day tomorrow of um, more sessions so i'm doing whittling and carving techniques and then uh, finish here uh, we'll get away probably about four o'clock or something like that and then it's shooting straight down to london uh, we've got a, a big corporate do in uh, in chiswick on friday um, and then we'll finish that one hopefully we're due to finish at two o'clock and then it's three o'clock into the cars and then up to Berkhamstead uh, where we're running another two courses we've got a, a full weekend course and then we've got a 24-hour course as well um, and then it's time to relax for one day and then uh, we're back out again uh, myself and Joe are going to the BBC Gardeners World we've been asked to um, do some talks and uh, demonstrations on stage so uh, it's very funny we had the BBC ringers um, just uh, yesterday and uh, and I've just found out that because um, uh, I'm doing a, a a panel discussion on, on the stage and uh, uh, immediately before me um, John Craven of Country Far fame um, he'll be on the stage just before me and then I poodle on and uh, and then as I poodle off John Craven goes back onto the stage and then he leaves and then I come back on again so uh, no pressure there then at all um, that man is a god um, so um, again we're going to be there Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday set up on Tuesday um, and then it'll time for uh, a half a day off I think on the Monday when we get back um, and then it's straight back out again into courses so busy few weeks um, but that's what we're here for you know and uh, uh, we've got to put food on our plates so uh, um, you know let's uh, get everybody out there and get everybody involved and uh, I'm looking forward to um, once this um, this meeting is um, sorted out this evening just chilling out for a couple of hours Well, it's always nice to uh, go home for 11 hours, so uh, that was a quick uh, shoot back from Derbyshire, back home for one night and then up early this morning and driving into London. Now that's a different kind of survival experience if you ask me, but uh, there you go. Anyway, this is what we call uh, progressive thinking with the business. What we've done is we've moved the business into London. Uh, we've been uh, contracted in from an events company to run some uh, friction fire lighting interactive um, workshops 
and Martin is working on some shelter building and natural materials and Kev is doing a bush tucker challenge. So uh, we've got locusts, we've got waxworms, we've got mealworms and, uh, and Kev's going to be actively encouraging people to have a go. I suspect that Kev might be eating a lot of insects but we'll see how it goes anyway. So uh, we're going to be here for, um, for the day and then it's uh, pack up and shoot back up the Birkenstead. And then we've got a weekend course going on and, uh, and a 24 hour course going on again. Another organisation which has contracted us in to, to do the work. So this is the reality of what it's like you know, to, to be a bushcraft instructor. We are working our socks off at the moment. Um, but you've got to make hay while the sun shines. Just a little bit unfortunate. It looks like it's going to rain in a minute. Oh dear. Uh, okay, um, I don't know. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I'm very, very tired. Uh, cracking weekend. Um, uh, my mum came over to um, our new home. This is the. Uh, um, we've just moved on to a boat, as I'm sure you're aware. And uh, so my mother came over yesterday to have a good look around and what have you. And she's also taken the dog now for a couple of days because we've got to get down to the NEC. Uh, I'm doing some talks on the uh, BBC uh, Country File stage uh, about foraging. So uh, I should be doing those this week. Uh, we've also got a stand there as well. Um, so uh, hopefully drumming up some more business. It's a, it's a long show actually, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So we've got set up um, today, so we're just about to leave. Um, and then break down Sunday night. And I think what we'll do, because I've still got my other house in Derbyshire at the moment, it's, it's a rented property, that's all. And um, uh, uh, the, the lease runs out at the end of the month, so we might just keep up in Derbyshire on Sunday night before coming back down to uh, down to Bedfordshire on, on Monday morning and uh, and then carry on with the move um, we've got the office to move as well we've just secured an office uh, down in Bedfordshire and um, so we've got to get that all um, set up and operational as well so uh, not only have we got to deliver those courses we've got to deliver the shows we've got to keep the office running um, but we're also having to move personally and move the office as well so it's busy I'm tired um, but Put that small back on again and uh, and away we go.